What's up, YouTube? So in this video, we're going to see how to implement a site-to-site -site VPN between two Forti gates. So currently, we are using Forti Gate One or Firewall One, and I added an additional Forti gate, and I already configured the subnets on respective interfaces. So on port two, that's going to be the public interface with the network 192.168.80. And on the internal uh, interface port one, we have the subnet 1065.75.0. And the main goal is to access remotely the PC sitting behind firewall two uh by using the vpn tunnel that we're going to establish uh between these two 40 gates so let's see how to deploy this solution so we're going to start by configuring the vpn settings on firewall one so let's log in on firewall one and we want to navigate to vpn ipsec tunnels so here we're going to create a new IPsec tunnel and we're going to provide the name as site uh, to site and we're going to select the template site to site no net between sites and the remote device type is going to be FortiGate so then we click on next now here we have to provide the remote IP address of firewall 2 and that's the public uh, interface the public IP on port 2 so the IP is 192.168.8.132 and it already selected the outgoing interface as one interface now we have to provide a pre-shared key that has to match on firewall 2 going to type the pre-shared key then click on next now the local interface we're going to select that's going to be our LAN interface and the local subnet is going to be our local subnet 106574 now as for remote subnet we're going to add a new one so that's going to be 1065 75.0.24 okay so we're going to click on next and here we can see a summary of what is about to be configured so it's going to create the phase one and phase two for vpn and then it's going to add uh, two static routes and it's going to create the policies to allow the traffic on the VPN so we're going to click on create and the VPN has been set up awesome so if we click on show tunnel list we can see that now the VPN still showing us down okay, so now let's do the same on firewall 2 so the steps will be the same so we'll go to VPN IPsec tunnels and we're going to create a new IPsec tunnel and the name is going to be site to site site to site and we're going to select the default options so we click on next now the remote IP has to be the public IP of firewall 1 so that should be 192.168.8129 and it already selected port 2 as the one interface and now the pre-shared key has to match what we define on firewall 1 okay so now click on next now our local interface is going to be port 1 and our subnet 1065 75.0 as for remote subnet, it's going to be 1065.74.0. Okay, so then we click on next. And we have the summary of what it's about to be uh, configured. And we're going to click on create. 
okay so if we click on show tunnel list to enable the tunnel we have to initiate traffic so let's go back to pc1 and try to access remotely the pc2 so let's open remote desktop okay and that's pc2 ip 1065 75 100 so let's try to connect okay and it looks like we are able to reach that pc I'm going to provide the credentials let's see might take some time as we can see the tunnel should be up at this moment so if i refresh this page we see both phases of the tunnel are up and that's how we implement an ipsec site-to-site -site vpn i hope you enjoyed and i'll see you in the next one